Greetings, people of Earth! Welcome to Games That Time Forgot. It's October here, and this is kind of embarrassing. Normally we open up with a uh, cold open joke, but uh, sadly, my humor doesn't really measure up to this game. So, spoiler alert for my review. It's good and it's worth your time. And you can probably see the name there already. So you know. But if you want to see why, of course, stay tuned. Because today we are looking at... Brutal Legend! Put out in 2009 by Double Fine Games and published by EA. This game is a fever dream trip through a heavy metal world and, and for the sake of full disclosure, having already beaten this game before I started recording, I played it again on the hardest difficulty and it was not kind. Hence the reason that all the footage you're going to see is from Act 1. So moving on, as is custom, let's hit the plot. You're Eddie Rigg. A roadie for Cabbage Boy, a new metal rap core, grind core, rock core thing band people. It's this type of stuff I would have liked in high school, and then you know went, oh wow, I'm being a dumbass. Eddie is longing for the old days when music mattered, and while pining for this, he gets killed. Summons a demon, is taken to a heavy metal world where he is saved by evil wizards, whom he then promptly kills. And then he's off to save the world, get the girl, and free the land for the beautiful music that has the screaming of an angel, the growl of a demon, and the steely hardness of metal. And yes, that's redundant and sounds weird, and I don't care! Because it was awesome. Jack Black is Eddie Rigg. Ophelia is played by the always amazing Jennifer Hale. You've got the Killmaster by Lemmy Killmeister. You've got the Guardian of Metal played by Ozzy Osbourne. Deviculous the Demon played by Tim Curry. And you have Rob Halford playing David Bowie. And later Rob Halford. He's in Act 3 and I didn't get the footage of it, sorry. Lita Ford is the Amazonian Princess who I also didn't get footage of because she's also in Act 3. Lars, who will one day free the land, played by Zach Hanks. And Lita, his sister, who is actually kind of cool, if kind of whiny in the beginning, played by Kath Suchi. Sushi. I don't know how to pronounce her name. Just, you know, we'll fix it in post. We'll fix it, it's cool. And through it all there's twists, turns, betrayals, backstabs, headbangers, punk rock chicks, bikers. Kyle freaking glass in his enormous freaking hands. And in case you missed it, Rob Halford of Judas Priest plays David freaking Bowie. But why are they all here? How do you get a cast together that is this good on a story this ridiculous? The answer is simple. Take it, Live Action October. Metal! Yeah! That's way less impressive when I do it. Truly, truly metal. But check it out, the world design is great, you get to go through various stages that are inventive and exciting and totally in tune with the subject matter. Frozen peaks, desolate roadways, graveyards, hell itself, and of course, rolling hills and greenery for any fantasy setting. Oh, look, Norway. Problem is, the game falters when it comes to gameplay itself. It's a fine and serviceable 3D brawler, and the team-up functions are really fun. But once it gets into RTS strategy, it kind of falls apart. And playing this on a console, an Xbox 360 or a PlayStation 3, RTS moments quickly descend into nightmares where you're screaming, No, you fools! Fight them, not those! It just went poorly. And even once you're able to command troops from a height advantage, it's still not that great, it, and that poor handling pretty much kills any momentum you could possibly have. It's a shame, because the game starts out so promisingly. If the developers had committed to making a 3D brawler or just a flat-out RTS, I think it would have been fine. But the mixture of the two makes you just want to zerg rush the other person's stage and call it a day, and hope you guys make it there and hope there's enough of them to actually take them out. But truth be told, it's worth suffering through this. Play it on easy, play it on medium, it doesn't matter. The game actually likes its subject matter, and the voice actors are clearly having a ball with it. And Ozzy Osbourne was actually tolerable, and I'm more of a Dio fan, even in terms of Black Sabbath. The hills are alive with the sound of metal. So if the gameplay is wonky, why play the game? Well, that's because, yeah, sure, it's ridiculous and cheesy and over the top, but there's so much earnestness and love in the acting, in the writing. When I had to explain this game to some of my friends and family, I was asked if it was a parody or a satire, and the answer is parody. It's still told with love. 
It's still told with respect and a type of reverence while still pulling out the pedestal and showing people, yeah, it's ridiculous and they know it's ridiculous. Satire takes cynicism, and really the cynicism is reserved for Rob freaking Halford as David freaking Bowie. It's a niche game for a niche audience, but I do think it deserves wider appeal. The thing I could most compare it to is the movie Josie and the Pussycats starring Rachel Lee Cook and Rosario Dawson. A movie that just overpowered you with charm, even if bubblegum pop wasn't your bag. And Brutal Legends the same way. The game is just overflowing with charm. Even if you don't know about goth industrial and black metal, even if you don't know the difference between the Dio years and the Ozzy years for Black Sabbath, you don't have to get all the in-jokes. The writing's smart enough to overpower that. You don't need to know why it's hilarious that Rob Halford is playing a glam rock icon. He just sells it. And if after the game you want to get into metal, just look up the songs on the soundtrack. They're a great primer to get back into the genre or get into it for the first time. It's highly recommended. Is this game worth your time? Oh, for crying out loud, yeah. But as a recommendation, I'm going to say don't go above normal difficulty. It's just it's just a headache waiting to happen. Well, that's it for Games That Time Forgot. I've been October. Be sure to click around the rest of the channel, check out our Let Us Plays, check out our Dashing Through the Inquisition, and other Dashing Through gameplay videos. And until next time, I still don't have a catchphrase. So, um, Julie Andrews. That's all I got. Later, people of Earth. Ow! That was awesome. How does Bruce Dickinson do that? Oh, God. My helmet's dented.